Halwa versus Brecon, Sports Group F. Brecon already out the competition with losses to Morton and St Johnson, no shame in that. But still, there'll be a tricky task for the Wasps as they name quite a few ex SPFL players in their team. Quite a few that we know Lewis Martin, Brad Mackay, Ewan Spark, and uh, Anthony McDonald. But of course, Mark Scott, the one to watch, he was the man who scored the winner a couple of years ago when Barry Ferguson was at Alwa manager. For Alwa, a few changes as uh, Steve Hetherington comes back after serving his suspension for last year's uh, red card at Ayrk. Well, David Devine drops out of the team for Morgan Neal after that serious injury. Luke Rankin also comes in up front. He's my pick this year for top scorer. So we'll see how he gets on. Higher for them against higher opposition. See how they fare. I say this as well. It's probably the weakest St. Johnson team it on is. paper uh -huh. for a long time. I know they've struggled for the last few seasons. Yep. But maybe. Uh, Maybe the nepotism will, will do them good because they got Mackenzie Kirk who's just signed. I saw that, yeah. Oh, well, Luke Rankin, <laughs> that's a penalty. Well done, Luke. Well, something that struck me in the friendlies that Luke Rankin's always so switched on. That ball Luke lost, but gets there in front of the goalie and gets absolutely massacred. Scott Taggart. Steps up. Fair. Great penalty. Goalie goes the wrong way. Great Same penalty. direction as last week, and Scott Taggart has the first goal good of goal of the season. Followed by Brecon. Morgan Neal is on there, and here's Anthony McDonald. Finding a bit of space and curving the ball just about a yard over the bar. So far away. That's what I say, that when we're struggling for shots in the middle, but that's yeah, wonderful yeah. if we give the cross into the middle. Oh, the goalie oh. drops it. <laughs> Might have landed for the wrong man, as Scott Taggart. Does a good clearance over, <laughs> over the goal. A popular man with the locals the referee anyway. Shouldn't we get the ball in the box here? Yeah. Hands in the back. Oh, big shout. I'll get the replay for this year. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say I would be surprised if that was given as a penalty. Nah, see, right, there, is, there is like a wee bit of push. It wasn't a robust push for Tiger. It was merely like just hands on the back. That's beautiful. Oh, Absolutely beautiful. Wonderful cross for your ball into the channel. And I tell you what. Buchanan into the box, he should cut back. Oh. Oh. He should have went further because Skugel ghosting in. That's what he should have been aiming for, trying to set up Rankin. And it's just too tight. I think the breaking foot gets in. Clyde drawn with Motherwell, by the way. Oh. That's a big result. Didn't have that in in the coupon, did you? Nope. Kelly beating Hibs. Oh, yeah. That's a bigger shock. That is. Martin 3 to 1, that's a big one. Especially after 8-0, eight, 8-0 eight nil, eight nil against East Colbride. Put too much into that game. Lovely for Kev, drifts inside. He's going to go home for the shot, surely. Oh, beautiful. lovely. Beautiful. Great strike. Ah, he's still got it, Kev. Yes. Kevin Colley drifts inside. Breakin's middle of the park disappears and Kev finds the top corner as well. Really, really lovely. See, have, it, have Kelly ever had a good result? And that <laughs> might be their biggest ever result. They had a big cup result. I can't mind any off the top of my head. Anyway, LD Samuel. Lots of boys charging forward. There's space on the channels now. Callum Waters has got plenty of targets in the middle. And it's oh. behind everyone. Rankin! Oh, what a hit! Fantastic. Wow. What a strike. Half volley. Drilled into the top corner. And I thought it missed everybody, but the, the real danger lurking at the back post. But job done, Alawa. Nice, easy winners. But will they add to it? Rankin, uh, Rankin, sorry, LD picking up another one. Rankin across in this near side. Oh. Gives it back to Kim Coley. It's Taggart's oh. blocked. And <laughs> that's it, defenders finish for a second. That's, yeah. that's, my. that's a, a nice flick inside. Poor pass though. Tags sweeps up nicely. And uh, Cammy O'Donnell plays the ball forward, looking for Salmon. Uh, bundles over the defender. Uh, pretty clear stuff for Salmon. I don't know if I'll have had to give a second gear today. I know, absolutely. So I said, still got to wait for PJ Morrison to the end, and will yeah. be called in the action before the end? It's into the middle. Number nine, surely handballs it down. It's into the back of the net. 
regardless rattled in by Mark Scott will surely be a consolation at this stage well, I say when goal difference is so key that's a yep. Sorian yep. Yes. no conclusive for the handball Dave Mackay maybe going to sleep there P.J. Morrison does have his first action of the game pick the ball out of the net from relative comfort follow up Conceived here, it's going to make for a hairy end to the game. I suppose that just sums up Breakin's day in front of goal. 98, one minutes on the clock. Nice ball in as well, and wonderful. Th ah, Cammy though, he's offside. As I was saying with Reese Mullen, he's a good player, great touch there. Sam was on. Yeah, Lewis Martin's Aye. 